Radar, meaning radio detecting and ranging, is a device used to detect distant objects by receiving radio waves that are reflected from an object. Prior to World War II, most people who were experimenting with radio waves and radars had very little attention. Around 1925 and 1926, American physicians and British researchers measured the Earth's ionosphere using a device which could be described as a radar. In 1934, researchers at the Naval Research Laboratory in Washington, D.C. worked on bouncing radio signals off of objects. In 1939, Britain, Germany, France, Hungary, Italy, the United States, Japan, the Netherlands, Russia, and Switzerland all had operational radars. Radar technology was first successfully tested by the U.S. Army in 1940. It was extremely useful in the Battle of Britain, as in the Royal Air Force, or RAF, was able to detect oncoming German planes and alert the nearby targeted areas. Without radar, Britain wouldn't have known of the German attacks. It even helped them prevent a major attack on an island in the Battle of Britain. The tragic attack on Pearl Harbor in 1940, Hawaii spotted the Japanese airplanes using radars, but the Navy thought it was their own force. After World War II, the progress in radar technology slowed down. Although it had delayed, the Doppler frequency shift and its utility for radar were known before World War II. Some examples of the Doppler effect are police radar guns and Doppler navigation radar to measure the velocity of the aircraft carrying the radar system. Radars are also used in the Navy to locate incoming enemy bomb raids and tracking opponents. Police officers also use pedometers to tell how fast someone is going based off of radar technology. In addition, both radar and sonar technology are used for detecting the location and speed of enemy aircrafts or submarines. Now that we have discussed what radars are, we will now talk about sonar technology. Sonar stands for Sound, Navigation, and Ranging, and it is used for underwater communication and navigation. In 1906, American naval architect Louis Nixon invented the first sonar-like listening device to detect icebergs. During World War I, a need to detect submarines increased interest in sonar. French physicist Paul Langevin constructed the first sonar set to detect submarines in 1915. In 1917, Canadian Robert William Boyle and A.B. Wood created the ASDIC, a sound detector for the anti-submarine division of the British Naval Staff. Americans later renamed it sonar. During the war, the ASDIC, or sonar, as it was called by the Americans, were used on Royal Navy and American ships to locate submarines or U-boats. Although helpful in finding submarines, weather and water conditions made it even more difficult. The rapid advancement of underwater acoustics continued after World War II, with wartime developments leading to large-scale investigations of the ocean basins. Passive sonar systems were primarily used to detect noise from marine objects, such as submarines or ships and marine animals like whales. Also, an active sonar transmits sound and then listens for that certain sound to bounce off an object and return back to the ship where it's received. It lets the submarine's crew find other ships or obstructions that determine the range and bearing of the object. But, the downside to an active sonar system is that it can be detected more than twice the distance that the submarine can detect objects, which puts the submarine in a tactical disadvantage. As you can see, radar and sonar technology has impacted many lives until this day and will continue to help make great advancements in the future. Created using Powtoon.